what can you get out of a game like that? Well, it's hard. It's not the competition that we wanted to get, but we had more bodies, bigger, more gifted, and all those kind of things. That we've had some games over here that over the years that's given us great competition. We lost one year over here, and I thought so. It would have been better for us to have more competition, but a lot of the teams that we thought we were going to be able to play, they weren't able to work it out. But still. The purpose of the trip is to get our team together, work on team chemistry, see how they react in front of this crowd, or not a big crowd, but in front of people, and I think we got something from there. But it's hard to look at anything statistically and get a lot from it. 14 turnovers for us yesterday, we had 27, so that helps, but uh, we're just, we were a lot more gifted. Nice stat line for Brandon for, for obvious reasons, but what does he need to do to, to make that transition to the ACC level? He's got to be able to do that against people that we play against or do it against his teammates. I told him, I said, that 20 and 20 is impressive, but I pointed to Sean May. Sean May had 26 and 24 against Duke. You know, that wasn't Duke that we were playing out there today. But uh, uh, Huff and Garrison, Sterling, Walker all worked hard. And uh, September 25th, I think it is, we'll start practice, so he's got to do it against our own team every day in practice, too. In the first few minutes, you had thrown it around a little bit, and then Leakey came in and sort of settled things down a little yeah. bit. What, what skills does he have that enables him to, to play that role? We tried to give him, we were going to give him more time at the point guard spot today anyway than we did yesterday, but uh, uh, seventh couldn't go because his back was just so stiff from the fall they took at the end of the game yesterday. And so that gave Leakey a lot more minutes at the point, and he can legitimately play, play the point guard spot. So gives us another guy to play back there, but he's a basketball player with a high basketball IQ and knows what he's supposed to do. Andrew talked yesterday about kind of understanding the game more and what you wanted mm -hmm. to do more. Have you seen him make that growth? Experience? Yeah, he's stubborn at times. You know, he doesn't get shot ready and he gets the ball and he's, then he starts going through all of his shot preparation after he catches the ball. So he's got to get catch the ball and be shot ready all. But uh, he's a tough kid and works hard and he's going to be able to play. What will you expect of everybody in the next month between now and September 25th? What will you ask them? They got to get in the weight room, uh, really do some work there. Got to get in the conditioning program and try to see if we can bury some of them there and make them work harder. But uh, I'm anxious to coach this team. It's a, a group of young guys that I really think I'm going to really enjoy. But there's a lot of work to be done between now and September 25th. You mentioned the, the benefit of the team chemistry building. You, you've done these types of trips a number of times before. Have, have you noticed a, a beneficial aspect of getting it started maybe a little bit early in the season? Well, you know, it's this one, the one foreign trip every four years, I've just gotten tired of flying six or seven hours and I like flying two hours better and, and this is a pretty nice place to come to and uh, get your team together. It's a short trip for five days but I think that you gain something from that. Uh, I wish it had the same kind of uh, results that Maui does. You know, we've been pretty successful every time we've gone to Maui.